this is a quick look at the camera and photo capabilities of the new LG G4. We've got a 16 megapixel sensor in here with optical stabilization. You can shoot JPEG or RAW files in the DNG format. The camera app provides full manual control, including shutter speeds up to 30 seconds, ISO control, and manual white balance that gives you serious creative freedom and control over your photos. The camera interface presents three options. Simple, you just simply touch to snap a picture. No controls on the screen. Auto mode gives you a few controls on the screen like flash and panorama, but manual mode is where the real power is. You can capture JPEGs or those raw DNG files on the left. Across the bottom, we have white balance, focus, exposure compensation, ISO, shutter speed, and exposure lock. When exposure lock is on, it locks in your current exposure settings and you need to change your ISO or shutter speed to adjust your exposure. The phone, the camera is not going to do it for you. Shutter speed is adjustable from 1 6,000th of a second to 30 seconds, making night shots of the starry skies possible. ISO ranges from 50 to 2700, but with this small sensor, you do notice some noise creeping in above 400. You've got a histogram grid or level on the left, along with a self timer at three or 10 seconds, voice activation, which is a little cheesy, but can be useful. And under the aspect ratio, you can set, well, the aspect ratio and the video recording sizes, 4K all the way down to a slow-mo at 720p. I also want to mention that you double press the volume down to launch the camera as a shortcut. And you can have it take a picture as soon as it launches, but I recommend you turn that off and just have it launch the camera. You also have expandable storage with a micro SD slot supporting up to 128 gigabytes. That gives you plenty of room for your photos and video. And if you have raw files, raw file capture turned on, you're going to want to invest in a SD card or micro SD card. Let's take a look now at some sample images. I have to say JPEG straight out of this camera look beautiful. DNGs, well, we'll take a look. Here we got a package of delicious dark chocolate salami with hazelnuts. It's not actually meat, they just call it salami. It's this wonderful dark chocolate all together. This is ISO 700, a JPEG straight out of the LG G4, and I'm very happy with the results. Certainly see a little bit of noise up at ISO 700. As I said, you start to really see that above 400. Uh, with the smaller sensors, but still overall excellent quality. Here is some more chocolate. This is just down at ISO 250. We can zoom in and we just have great detail in the little bits that are on the chocolate there. This is a zoomed in view of that chocolate salami. And this is an excellent example of the depth of field that you're able to create with this f1.8 lens. This is real depth of field here. This is actually out of focus. There's no post-processing or software trickery, and I haven't edited these. Now, here's an example of mentioning the DNGs coming out not as nice. Uh, raw files typically don't look as nice. They need some post-processing to look their best, and the benefit being they give you a little bit more room for that post-processing. I almost feel that it's not worth it with the LG G4. Uh, you know, JPEGs come straight out. This is gorgeous. This is what it looked like to my eye. And I can certainly work on this DNG, make it look a lot nicer, but in reality, uh, it just doesn't seem quite worth it. Here's another shot that showcases both the depth of field and the amount of detail that's able to be gathered by the sensor. We zoom in just a little bit here. Actually, I think we're at one to one now. Uh, and we have incredible detail in this Raspberry. Another JPEG straight out of the camera. No, I did, I did do post-processing to this. Let's see what it looked like before. It's a little darker. And after, I just brightened it some. Here's a shot outside in sunlight. Great contrast, quality, details, very, very nice. Just after sunset, lacrosse game, I'm really happy with both, again, the colors and the contrast. A little, tending a little warm, but I think that's fine for an image like this. Here we are a little bit later in the evening, definitely getting dark. A cat in the sink. I'm not sure why ISO isn't reported here. I imagine that it is very high ISO. There was no light. All of the light in the bathroom here is coming from out in the hallway. But again, we've got... Definite noise and definite some detail loss in this area, but for this situation, and the other thing I was impressed with here was the focusing ability of the camera in this lower light. Someplace I've seen mirrorless and point and shoot cameras struggle and it did a fine job. This blew me away. This is a 30 second exposure of 
the sky. And we have clear stars and even a little bit of a hint of that Milky Way picked up. We've got some clouds that moved in and blurred themselves over that 30 seconds as well. And the composition isn't great, but it's fantastic. And I'll have another video coming soon showing exactly how I stabilized this, but the ability to do that is great. One more DNG, and this is where I think I mentioned this camera does seem to struggle a little bit with the brighter areas and the highlights. And so we can bring that down with the DNG and recover that detail that's inside the whiter part of the onion, but still very good. Honestly, even though I'm a big fan of shooting raw with any camera that offers it, the benefits here seem small enough that I'm gonna mostly stick to JPEGs with this device. However, it is lots of fun to be able to shoot the raw, transfer them into Lightroom Mobile, and edit the raw files on a mobile device. Overall, the LG G4 represents the best camera in the Android ecosystem and quite possibly the best overall photography experience among all smartphones. Take a moment, hit that thumbs up button if you found this video useful and leave a comment with your prediction. What year will smartphone quality surpass today's entry level DSLRs? I'm curious what you think. In a year, two years, never? Leave a comment. Thanks so much for watching. Goodbye.